physiotherapist. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, a, a pretty common condition actually in the hand area called uh, trigger finger. Uh, trigger finger, it's a very uh, painful uh, condition for an individual and essentially what ends up happening is uh, in our hand here we have uh, different uh, tendons they're called so they connect onto your uh, wrist ex uh, flexors here and they travel around uh, cr across the wrist and they attach onto these individual uh, fingers and what can end up happening is uh, in this tendon sheath it's called the sheath can actually become inflamed and it develops somewhat of a hard sort of nodule due to typically due to scar tissue and as a result of this nodule the tendon doesn't glide appropriately within this uh, sheath and it actually gets uh, stuck when we're trying to go into these different positions and so what will end up happening for the individual is so for example let's say uh, on my uh, index finger if I've got trigger finger here when I'm doing a fist or I'm trying to grip something that particular digit will get stuck and the other fingers will come up and it will with that one index finger essentially it will roll over that nodule that we talked about and it will go up very, very quickly and it's very, very, very sensitive uh, and painful for the individual when they develop this trigger finger. Um, in terms of interventions for this, so typically uh, when, when one first develops a trigger finger, the initial uh, modality you want to do is actually get a, there's a specific brace uh, for trigger finger in order to actually prevent it from bending and extending. Now the reason for this is we want to reduce the uh, inflammation on that tendon sheath uh, and, and so one way to do that is to actually prevent the bending and extending over a period of time. Now typically they say about four to six weeks. Then from there you'll take off the, the brace and again you can get these really really small braces that just limit a very small amount of movement in through each uh, in through the finger that's affected um, and then from there as we mentioned you'd actually want to mobilize and strengthen and do more uh, of a physiotherapy uh, intervention on it now that's that's sort of the conservative approach with these so ideally for an individual the, the hope would be that swelling inflammation goes down within that four to six week period in terms of wearing the brace and that it's just a matter of regaining range of motion and strength and everything's fine and, the, and sort of the trigger finger goes. Now, if that intervention doesn't work, there's other things that can also be done that are a little more aggressive. So things like a cortisone shot or for some individuals they'll actually have, there's a, there's a, a surgery that can be done for this. But again, the hope is that initially with uh, initial bracing and then physiotherapy following that, um, that it will improve. Therapeutic ultrasound can also be uh, beneficial. Soft tissue uh, directly on the nodule can be uh, helpful in mobilizations, again, once it's been braced for that period of time. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave a comment below. And thanks again for watching. Take care.